Hazard Communication Program Employers who use hazardous chemicals in their work operations are required by OSHA's Hazard Communication Standard to develop a Hazard Communication Program. An effective Hazard Communication Program can be accomplished in six steps. Step 1 requires that employers must obtain a copy of OSHA's Hazard Communication Standard and become familiar with its provisions. Provisions that apply to employers who use hazardous chemicals in their work operations can primarily be found in paragraphs E, F, G, and H. During this step, employers must ensure that someone has primary responsibility for coordinating implementation of the program and identifying staff for particular activities. Employers need to develop, implement, and maintain a written hazard communication program to protect the health and safety of workers. This program must include the following information. A description of how the employer will meet the requirements concerning labels and other forms of warnings, safety data sheets accessibility, and employee education and training. A list or inventory of all chemicals known to be present in the workplace, including solids, liquids, vapors, gases, fumes, and mists. The methods the employer will use to alert employees of the hazards associated with chemicals, contained in unlabeled pipes in the workplace, and the potential hazards of non-routine work tasks. If employees travel between workplaces, the written program must be kept at the primary workplace facility. Labels are the first part of the three-part approach to communicating information to downstream users, the other two being safety data sheets and training programs. Step 3 requires that manufacturers and importers must ensure that each container of hazardous chemical that they ship be labeled, tagged, or marked. Similarly, employers must ensure that containers of hazardous chemicals in their workplaces are labeled to ensure that workers have immediate access to information about the hazards of that chemical. Step 4 requires that employers must Maintain safety data sheets for every hazardous chemical in the workplace, and, ensure the safety data sheets are readily available to employees. Employers are required to train employees on hazardous chemicals used in their work area. At the time of their initial assignment. And, whenever new chemicals are introduced into the work environment. At a minimum. Employee training must encompass the following areas. The methods and observations that may be used to detect the presence or release of hazardous chemicals in the work area. The hazards of the chemicals in the work area, including physical, health, simple asphyxiation, combustible dust, pyrophoric gas hazards, and hazards not otherwise classified. Measures employees can take to protect themselves from these hazards, including work practices, emergency procedures, and required use of personal protective equipment. Explanations of the labels received on shipped containers and the workplace labeling system in use, in addition to associated safety data sheets and how workers can obtain and use appropriate hazard information. Furthermore, employees must be informed of requirements of the hazard communication standard work areas where hazardous chemicals may be present and location of the written hazard communication program and safety data sheets step 6 requires that employers review the hazard communication program periodically to make sure it stays current and relevant for employees the program must also be revised as needed, to address any changes that may have occurred in the workplace. 